been getting a lot of requests lately for my everyday makeup looks, so today I'm gonna cover that, plus my favorite products and some tips and tricks. Let's go. I hate the feeling of like a ton of foundation on my face. I have dry skin, so I always start with a moisturizer. I have a bunch that I bounce back and forth between, but right now I really love Peter Thomas Roth's Water Drench. If you have primer, primer's always really good. Um, I don't have any right now, so I'm not using primer. But if you have it, you should use it. It literally feels like water. I just love the sensation. So while I let that kind of soak in, I'm gonna start on the eyes or the eyebrows. Um, for my eyes, I love a liquid liner if I'm doing like heavy makeup, but on an everyday basis, I'm kind of obsessed with Maybelline's Master Precise Skinny Eyeliner. It's so thin, like look how tiny it is. Um, it leaves like the smallest line. I have it in black and brown. Um, they're both nice. Black has a little more pop, obviously. Brown looks a little more natural. So I just line as closely to my lash line as possible. And then I bring it like even further in as I go down. So it's kind of like you're lining the inside of your eye once you get to the middle part. And this you can draw like a little tail kind of from where the bottom of your lash line, like follow the line and then go up toward the end of your eyebrow so it looks like that. But I'm not gonna do that. And then I have this little brush that I love like great for tight lines I line my under eyes and sometimes like on top of sometimes on top of my eyeliner depending on how thin it is I'll go over it with powder and it just kind of softens the line but I always do the powder under my eyes um, there's several I choose from I really love the naked Two basic palette because it's just all browns um, and I do like a dark brown on the outside and a lighter brown on the inside and then sometimes You'll see I'll do this red by Charlotte Tilbury to like match the creases. Reds really make green eyes pop, so it's one of my favorites. And I'm really into the BT21's palette. Like, look at all these gorgeous colors. It's like all colors I would wear. Reds and peaches, golds. Maybe I'll try some of that today. But I don't really wear a ton of eyeshadow and stuff on my natural days. So I'm just gonna do this one. And then I do the very the dark for the corner. I just go back and forth to kind of smudge it around but keep it really close to the lash line. But it can be thicker on the outside. You don't want it thick on the inside. Like you honestly don't want to put anything past the color of your eye in the inside unless it's like a gold color. Maybe I'll tail this with my powder. Oh, looks messy. not look good ah. also q-tips are your best friend when you're doing your makeup and then um, if you have like a powder sometimes my face powder is what I actually use for my eyes which is essentially this color stark in the naked palette it's just like a skin tone to, like kind of hide the redness or the purple so I'll just do it that If you want to be fancy, put some like gold right in the inner corner but smear it around. Let's do some brows. 
I really, for my brows, I love Designing Matte. I get it from the Face Shop. Um, this one is a dark gray. But it's kind of like my go-to. It's very inexpensive. Um, I love the way it goes on and I like the color too. So it's kind of my everyday pencil. I also really like the IT Cosmetics Brow Power. And I use this in Universal Taupe, so it's also like a grayish brown color. Very pretty. So brows are tricky, depending on your eyes. If your brows are really low and you want to like open up your face, you want to kind of put the brow on the top and leave the bottom more empty, except filling in that cools. If you have really high arches and they're like too high, you, you do want to kind of bring them on the bottom so it kind of like brings the brow down a little bit so they're not so like whoa mine are kind of in between but you can create contrast by just doing like the very beginning part you don't want the inside part to be thick and dark it looks unnatural so I do the bottom and then fill in those Basis right there and then I focus on my um, arch area it should line up with the inside corner of your nose it should break where you put the pencil from your nose until your eye if you're looking in the mirror over the like center of your eye and then it should end if you line it up with your nose and the corner of your eye that's where it should stop if you didn't know definitely always brush it out to make it <laughs> soften. Another fun trick I do sometimes, you can take lotion, like hand lotion, and with one of the straight brushes that's very thin, mix the dark or the powder that matches your eyebrows with lotion and it kind of turns it into a gel and then it just glides on really easily. I do that a lot. For the crease, I'll use the same bronzer that I'll use on my cheeks, or sometimes I use the same blush, and I just do the outer corners to kind of define it. Sometimes I'll even use <laughs> blush. I want to like pinking it up. Okay, mascara. Mascara is the one thing I will never spend money on. I think it's kind of crazy to spend money on mascara because you're supposed to throw it out every couple of months for bacteria. And the formulas aren't really that different from like high-end makeup to drugstore makeup. So I've been using Lash Blast since high school and it's kind of one of my favorites. I like the brush on it. I always curl my lashes, but recently I've been getting my eyelashes permed. So I don't have to right now. <laughs> it's amazing. Now that you're done with the eyes, make sure to remove all the excess powder that usually gets caught on your cheekbones before you put your face makeup on. So, if I'm actually putting on makeup, I will usually wear L'Oreal True Match and I mix these two shades because I have a weird skin tone. It's kind of like pale but yellow. So, I use shades W2 and W3 and I mix them. I think this is a really good drugstore foundation. Um, on a daily basis, I usually just use the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. It has SPF 50 in there, so it's really good. I use Fair Light. Might be a little too light for me right now. But um, I it's full coverage, and it's just a CC cream, so I wear this a lot. 
And then I've been kind of addicted to this, I think it's called a Sun Cushion by VT Cosmetics. It's SPF 50. Look how cute Van is. Oh my God. So cute. It's SPF 50. Smells amazing. And it's just like sunscreen for your skin. I don't really need this today, but it just smells so good. Okay. It's very moisturizing too. Kind of feels like the lotion I just put on. So, this stuff is so potent, you only need like the smallest amount. If I'm wearing foundation, I apply it with the Beauty Blender by you wet it and then dab it all over. But I also love this little rounded brush. See how, oh, that was like the smallest dab. I put my foundation in my hand. Um, a lot of pros have like this little palette or you can use a CD, like an old CD-ROM. Um, I like to put it in my hand because it's less to clean up, you just wash your hands, and it warms the makeup so it kind of goes into your skin faster. I'm putting this on very messy, but this is my everyday makeup so I'm fast. If it's too light, I'll add bronzer to my cheeks or forehead to kind of warm it up a little bit. Now I'm like putting on, I never put on this much makeup. <laughs> you want to do like the shape of a weird three, like start at your forehead line, come up, and then you come here. And then actually under your jaw too will help you to define your jaw. These are just makeup tricks from pageant. <laughs> okay. A lot of girls you'll see also lightly do their nose very top corner of both sides of their nose and it makes you have a skinnier nose. Or it looks skinnier. I never do that though. Okay. And then blush. I use all kinds of blushes. This is Burt's Bees blush because their products are all natural. I really like it. I like their makeup. I also love Chanel's Mademoiselle and Nars Cosmetics uh, Orgasm is the prettiest color of all. Okay. Boop. I think I'm ready. Oh. Um. Lipstick. So, I haven't really been using lipstick like I used to. I used to, I'm kind of obsessed with lip stains. Um, oh, this one's ugly. Sorry, I don't have my pretty one. <laughs> uh, anyway, CoverGirl and I believe Maybelline make these lip stains. Now, I never can find them in the store. I buy them online. Um, I like the berry color. It's like a dark pink. This is like my number one beauty secret for lips. If you want your lips to look bigger, make sure there's nothing on your lips because it'll dry out your pen. No makeup. You want your lips to be like completely clean. 
and then you like line your lips with the lip stain. Once you've lined them how you want it, I just kind of lightly fill it in to make the color look more even. So this is a stain. It should, if you let it dry properly, it should stay like almost all day. And then after it's dry, I can go over it with any kind of lipstick I want. My go-to is Mademoiselle by Chanel. I love this color. Um, it's kind of like a dark pink. It kind of matches the color of that stain, actually. Um, this is just a drugstore one I picked up the other day. Sexy Mother of Pucker. Uh, I like their pinks, too. Colors are really matte. And I also love, I have the VT21 collection. They're very red. So if I'm like trying to be bold, oops, if I'm trying to be bold, I will wear one of these. Okay, so, well, that was a little less natural than usual because I wanted to show you some tricks and some of the new stuff I've been using, but, I mean, that's what I do. Uh, that was a slower version of what I do every single day if I'm putting on something. Since we're here, <laughs> let's play with the BTS palette, the BT21 palette. Oh my god, they're so freaking pretty. So, all of these are pretty much crease colors. Um, I wouldn't, the gold you could put in the inner quarter of your eye, but that's what this one is like perfect for because it's just so light. I'm a small brush. Also, remember to always dip it, dip your brush the way you use it. So, if you do this on the tip of it, but then when you go to apply it, you put the brush at an angle, you're like losing half of the makeup, right? So make sure you dip it how you use it. Um, so when I put the inner corner, I do it at this angle. So that's the exact same angle I'm gonna pick up the makeup with, right? I'm gonna use this pretty one right here. And I'm always, I kind of put it on, but I'm always doing like tiny circular motions because you want nothing on your face to be a hard line, right? That's what looks unnatural. You always want to make sure everything is blended out. Pretty. And then if you want to get real fancy with it, take the same thin brush and the same color you have on your creases and kind of go under your eye. Cute. Okay. Now I'm actually done except for my concealer. Um, I use Maybelline concealers the match me or whatever I have it in tin fair um, that's like my go-to cheap makeup I really love if you have dark under eye circles it cosmetics bye bye under eye is my current favorite 
This stuff is also super potent, so you just need like the smallest amount. You press foundation. You don't like swipe on foundation because it'll actually take it off. Um, I usually have little foundation brushes, but I use my fingers a lot too. But yeah, so I'm like gently pressing and lifting and pressing. You don't want to wipe, wipe, wipe because it'll just, it'll put it on, wipe it off, put it on, wipe it off. So you won't really see the best results when you're done. So I put it on and I'm just like gently pressing it. Okay, now, I, now I'm done. I think I covered everything. So yeah, this is my basic natural everyday makeup, except my lips are a little, my lips and eyes are too dark for natural, but you saw the natural earlier. Um, yeah, hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions. This is as heavy as you will see me in these days. I do like this lip color though. <laughs> Cute. Okay, Louis is about to die. I need to take him for a walk. And I think I might go get myself, should I get a latte out or should I make one at home? Mine are really good, but there's nothing like buying lattes. <laughs> Why is that? I normally would do my hair, but I just got the Dyson air, air wrap and I did it last night after I washed my hair and this is what I woke up with. So I'm kind of obsessed. It's definitely an expensive tool, but it dries your hair and curls it at the same time. Like I woke up like this literally and I don't think I really need to fix it. It's just like messy curled hair.